Hi everyone, today our video is dedicated to unicorns. Did fairy tale unicorns really exist, and what did they really look like? I will try to answer this question. So, take a seat. Let's go. Sensational data was published by modern scientists. It turns out that unicorns, so familiar to us from fairy tales and science fiction films, not only existed on Earth, but could well catch primitive people. This is incredible, but the age of the remains of the so-called Siberian unicorn found in Russia, according to the latest data, indicates that he lived here at a time when the first people had already settled these lands. The unicorn as a mythical character has been used by various peoples of the world for more than one millennium. True, the image of a graceful horse with a horn, which is familiar to us, appeared already in later times, and the ancient artists painted it more often in the form of a one-horned bull or antelope. Images of bulls with a horn on their foreheads are found, for example, on seals discovered during excavations of ancient cities in the Indus Valley and dating back to about the 3rd millennium BC. Several thousand years ago, in Assyria, Egypt and southern Africa, ancient artists most often painted with one horn not bulls, but antelopes. And in the Middle East in ancient times, people retold legends about the one-horned donkey to each other. In the Middle Ages, the image of a horse with one horn replaced all others, and in Europe this perception of this mythical animal gradually settled down. However, subsequent discoveries of scientists have made adjustments to this image. Yes, unicorns did exist on Earth. However, these were not horses at all, but rather ungraceful, massive creatures. For the first time, the bones of such an animal were discovered in 1900 in Siberia, and this discovery caused a real shock among scientists. As paleontologists have established, the ancient creature, called by scientists, Elasmotherium sibiricum, had a large wide skull with one single horn. And then science became aware of other similar findings. The bones of ancient unicorns were studied at the turn of the 19th-20th centuries, and in recent years, studies have become more detailed. Siberian Elasmotheriums, presumably, were herbivores, and the halo of their habitat covered a rather large territory, Eastern Europe, Western Siberia, as well as part of modern Mongolia, Kazakhstan, and China. The dimensions of these prehistoric animals are impressive. Their body length reached 5 meters, and their height was 2 and a half. Its horn was about 20 centimeters in diameter and 2 meters long. The body of a giant unicorn was covered with wool, which is typical for animals that lived in the cold regions of our planet during the Pleistocene era. Fourteen years ago, a group of Russian archaeologists discovered in the territory of the southern Urals, in a cave, a lot of ancient bones and an impressive tooth. All finds were located in one layer. And if the bones, as researchers under the guidance of paleontologist Pavel Kosintsev found out, belong to hyenas, mammoths, bison and horses, then the tooth belongs to the Siberian unicorn. Similar teeth were found in the last century on the territory of Bashkiria. Later, a fragment of this tooth and other remains of unicorns, taken from private collections, was sent to Holland for radiocarbon study using accelerator mass spectrometry. This most modern method of determining the date of artifacts is increasingly being used by modern archaeologists, because at the moment it is the most accurate. The results of the study exceeded all scientists' expectations. It turns out that the giant unicorn, which belonged to the tooth, lived in the territory of the modern Urals about 35,000 years ago. And since, as scientists know, people already lived in the Urals at that time, this allows us to make a bold assumption that the prototype of a mythical creature and a prehistoric man could live in the same years. Also, Australian scientists managed to isolate the DNA of an ancient unicorn and make an equally interesting conclusion. According to them, the closest relatives of this giant can be called tapers. But modern rhinos have a very distant relation to unicorns. Elasmotherium sibiricum broke off from them and began to evolve separately 50 million years ago. But until now, scientists confidently called the Siberian unicorn an extinct species of rhinoceros. So why did Siberian unicorns become extinct? Researchers have several suggestions on this score, but the most likely is related to the diet. An analysis of the composition of the bones showed that their main food was only grass, like prehistoric lawn mowers, unicorns ate it in huge quantities. However, the meadows in their habitat began to gradually disappear, and they, unlike other herbivores, could not switch to feeding on foliage and branches of shrubs. Well, the reason for the disappearance of vast pastures could be global warming and the Earth's exit from the Ice Age. Another alleged reason for the extinction of unicorns can be called the fact that they were killed in droves by our hunter ancestors. 
However, so far, among the remains of these animals, there have been no signs that at least one unicorn was killed by a person. Adrian Lister, a professor at the Natural History Museum in London, one of the leading experts on ancient Siberian unicorns, believes that studies of the remains of these animals will allow modern scientists to better understand the features of the distant relatives of Elasmotherium sibiricum, the living rhinos. These animals are currently at risk, being contenders for extinction, since rhinos are also very picky about their habitat and diet. Perhaps this knowledge will help to take a closer look at modern rhinos, only a few of their species remain on the planet, and prevent their disappearance from the face of the earth. The Siberian unicorn disappeared forever many millennia ago, but the black rhino can still be preserved. The African nose arc of the 21st century is one of the few places in Africa where these animals have miraculously survived. That's all, if you liked it, push like button, subscribe and click on the bell. Have a good day.